Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's morning, I'm about to leave for work, and I just thought I'd make a quick video about my EDC kit that I take with me every day. Uh, what I was finding uh, when I got into EDC and sort of preparedness was I had a whole bunch of things that I was always moving from one bag to another or, you know, one system to another. Um, you know, medical supplies, you'll see what's in the kit, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but I often change bags. I go from backpack to the panniers on the bicycle to maybe another backpack. I've got a lot of different bags. There are a lot of different ways that I carry stuff. Uh, so what I wanted was like a compact or semi-compact kit that I could very easily just move from one bag to another. And I found that containing it into this little pouch here was a great way to do it. Uh, so without further ado, I'll open the pouch and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so first thing we have is a first aid kit. Um, it's nothing special. I got this at a course that I took uh, for first aid a little while ago. Um, there's like band-aids, uh, you know, I put some medicines in here as well. Um, so I got like Tylenol and um, a few other things in there. Um, and medical tape. And actually this came in really handy not too long ago because I broke my toe uh, when I was at work. And you can't really do too much for broken toes. All you can do is just buddy tape it to the next one, take some Tylenol, elevate it, put some ice on it, something like that to just keep the swelling down. So I have used this before. It's a very good thing to carry with you. Um, I've got a lighter in here. Um, I've got another lighter deeper within the system, but um, I've got the ability to make fire when I need to. Um, I've got a Swiss Army knife here. This is the, um, <clears throat> this is the Spartan model. I actually bought this in Mexico City when I was there um, over Christmas time. Uh, what else? What else? Okay, <clears throat> so now I've got another pouch here. I've got more medicine here. Uh, I probably should uh, do something to integrate those things. Uh, I even have like vitamins in there, I think. But uh, I've got more medicine there, so stomach, head, whatever. I got something to cover it. Um, okay, what else? Uh, I got some toilet paper here. Uh, some tissues and some like alcohol swabs. Uh, I found that when I was living in Mexico um, that you always need to carry toilet paper with you uh, because when you go to those like public bathrooms it's pretty sketchy what you're gonna find in terms of supplies. Uh, I took the cardboard out so it's nice and flat and this is actually like really light uh, you would not you would never even know you had it so it's one of those no-brainer items that you should just have with you. <clears throat> Okay, I've got uh, my Altoids uh, tin here. Um, this is a pretty famous thing on YouTube. Uh, these containers are great, actually. It's worth buying these things just for the containers, but the, the mints are good, too. Uh, okay, so on the inside, I used to have a coin taped to the roof, and now I don't, but um, that's okay. Uh, I've got another lighter in here. This is the, uh, the Mini Bic. Um, I've got some more medicines in here, stomach-related uh, things plus Tylenol. Um, and then in here, I've got um, some money, actually. Um, I think it's important to carry cash on you for those like kind of difficult situations when you might not um, have access to a bank machine. So I've got fifty dollars in here. I think that that you know pretty much guarantees me an expensive taxi ride home from anywhere within the region that I'm in you know, that I'm currently living in. Um, <clears throat> I've got uh, a credit or sorry a card here, um, which is wrapped in the Gorilla Tape. Um, I've actually used this since I uh, put it in there, so I need to put more Gorilla Tape back on it. But uh, it's always good to have tape with you, and you will use this eventually, for sure. It's one of those amazing things that you should have. And uh, I got some band-aids in there as well. I actually made this kit before I did the first aid kit, so I should probably look at redesigning that at some point in time, but um, it is what it is for now. There's a bit of useful stuff in there. And uh, you can do, like, other things with those kits, too. Like, I've seen people do sort of, like, wilderness survival kits and stuff like that, so that's uh, pretty cool. Okay, so um, up here in the top we got some hand sanitizer. Uh, this was another thing I really got into in Mexico because when you ride the buses there's no soap in the bathrooms most of the time. Uh, so it's really good to have hand sanitizer with you. Uh, and I've used this when I'm camping too. Like You don't always have a water source really nearby and you don't want to use your drinking water so you can use this. You can also start a fire with that stuff too. I've done that before and uh, it works pretty well. I've got a little bit of cordage in here. Um, it's 550 cord probably about 10 or 15 feet. There's not a lot there really. Um, it's a nice black color so it's nice and subdued. Um, cordage, I don't really use it that often but you know the odd time that you might need it, uh, it's good to have it for sure. Also I do wear um, paracord bracelets so I have a little bit more cordage there. Um, so I always have a little bit of cord on me. Um, 
yeah. Uh, I've got a bandana in here. Uh, I think that that's another great item to have. Same thing when I was in Mexico. Um, it gets super hot in there, like in a lot of different places for sure. Sometimes at nighttime it gets pretty cold actually. But sometimes it's so hot and a great way to cool down, um, if you don't know about it, is uh, to wet your bandana, wrap it around your head, wrap it around your neck. You'll be surprised, it really makes a world of difference. And, and there's uh, like a myriad of uses for something like this. You can filter water with it, you could use it as a tourniquet or a band-aid or whatever. So lots of good stuff. Use it to blow your nose if you want to. Okay, uh, last thing here is a pen. Um, but I don't have any paper in here. Uh, this is an honest video. I'm not trying to like make myself seem cooler than I am. You know, my system's not perfect, but I think there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, and let's just talk about the bag as well. So the bag is, I think this is a medium-sized bag from the Mountain Equipment Co-op uh, in Vancouver. Uh, I'm sure that REI in the States probably makes something very similar to this because they seem to have a lot of overlapping products. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know, it's got like a mirror in here as well, uh, which comes off with uh, Velcro. So this could be like a signaling mirror probably as well. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, and yeah, just uh, the case itself is awesome. Like it, it does hold a lot of stuff. I've got it packed up pretty heavily, uh, but uh, you know, you can get a lot of stuff in there for sure. Uh, so I'm probably going to reevaluate the system a little bit now that I've actually put it on video and really look through it in a detailed way. But I've got, you know, first aid capabilities, fire, um, signaling to some extent, um, medic you know, uh, I've got a knife in there, some cordage, uh, a writing instrument, you know, uh, lots of stuff, cash. So it's a, it's a good system, I think. Uh, there's a lot of capabilities there. It's not the thing that you use every day, despite the fact it is EDC, but um, it's stuff that you're going to be glad you had um, when you need it. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.